when I tweak a hamstring, I'm sitting in front of the TV, just stretching that thing for show after show after show. Now, when Dalvin Cook tweaks a hamstring, he's beating up his arch rival for 222 yards on national television. Florida State 29, Miami 24. It was quite a game in for a third consecutive season. Miami loses to Florida State, and the two previous times came unraveled down the stretch. And now for a second consecutive year, Miami is lost in heartbreaking fashion to their arch rival, and we'll see how this Miami team responds. First for Dalvin Cook, I want to say to Leonard Fournette, let's make room for Mr. Cook in the Heisman Trophy race, because if Florida State continues to win, it's because of this guy first and foremost. You win because you have a team of talented and dedicated players. But if there is one MVP for a particular team right now in college football, and this is very debatable, but I'm going to nominate Dalvin Cook. Again, 22 carries for 222 and two touchdowns in this one, and his touchdown runs are spectacular. For his first 16 career touchdowns as a collegiate player, 35-yard per touchdown average. That's spectacular. We know his off-season issues uh, that were cleared up before the season started. He was dismissed from the team for six weeks. He saved the game against South Florida, uh, a team that Florida State should dominate. But if Dalvin Cook's not on the field to make four or five game-changing runs in that particular game against the Bulls, Florida State gets upset against a four-touchdown underdog. Same thing last week against Wake Forest. Dalvin Cook saved the game. We also take note of the performance of Everett Golson, 25 for 33, 291 yards, and a touchdown pass. He had 22 turnovers last season, lost his starting job at Notre Dame, transferred. This guy is a potential championship winning quarterback. He's that good. He's not necessarily one of the three or four best in the nation elite at the very top of the game, but he is good enough to do it. He's dynamic when he takes care of the football. That's a big if at times, but that was the one season when he didn't take care of the ball. He has this season he did as a freshman at Notre Dame in going undefeated into the national championship game. On the flip side, for the Miami Hurricanes, Brad Kaya, exceptional sophomore quarterback. In this game, 29 of 49, 405 yards, three touchdowns, no picks against a defense that turns people over. Brad Kaya had no interceptions and 49 attempts. That's a huge number because this offense was on his back. Miami has two issues, basically one issue that manifests itself two ways. Miami's offensive line is not championship caliber. It's marginal at best. And against a defense as talented as Florida State that will send six, seven of these players to the NFL, Miami could not pass block and give Kaya the kind of time that he needed consistently. And also they couldn't run block. Uh, Joseph Yearby had all sorts of issues. So there's a here's a back that has run for a 146, 125, and 133 yards the past three weeks could only get free for 33 yards on 15 carries. So it was all on Kaya, and you can see that he's worked on his rapport and developing a rapport with uh, Rashawn Scott in particular, who caught six passes for 108 yards. Unfortunately, Kaya didn't have one of his uh, biggest threats, probably his best deep threat in Stacy Coley, who had to leave the game after catching seven passes for a buck 39 and a touchdown. But that's the difference between these two teams right now. Two basics. Florida State's offensive line is not great, but it's better than Miami's. Miami's is marginal at best. Also, Florida State's defense is nasty most of the time. Kaya, though, when given the time, picked them apart again for 405 yards. Dalvin Cook, we nominate him for candidacy into the Heisman race um, with, of course, Leonard Fournette still leading the way. We'd love to hear what you have to say about Florida State and Miami. The Canes have a date next week against Virginia Tech. And uh, for Florida State, they've got a date with division rival Louisville. So for Miami, Despite losing in the ACC, they appear at this point to be possibly the best team if they put it all together 
based on what they showed us tonight. They have to bring this kind of energy, this kind of attitude, this kind of determination against the likes of the Dukes and the Pitts and the Virginias to win consistently week to week, and this division is there for the taking. Miami, Florida State, let's talk it up right here on Mark Rogers TV.